This is a public toilet in Japan. Not only is that fierce incredibly creepy, but once you sit your sweet cheeks down, that fierce begins to yodel. <laughs> And to make things even worse, the entire wall begins to close in, inch by inch, until it kisses your knees. But that's not the only weird toilet that exists in Japan. In fact, there are dozens of even crazier public toilets that you can poop in. And I'm gonna find the perfect one. I'm here in Japan. Oh, there's a fire engine. I I'm here. I'm here. Spell I cup because I s see you peeing in these transparent toilets. Look at that. Wonderful. I haven't been able to take a poop anywhere but my own home in like 10 years. But I'll explain more about that later. For now, just know I'm here to poop. All right, quick little turn. We got a sink, a urinal, a toilet. Pretty normal stuff. If you ignore the fact that everyone can see you drop a hot, steamy. Luckily for me, there's a little bit of privacy in this one. Some high tech stuff right here. Look, if I lock this, <laughs> I don't know how that works. I don't even know why this exists. When I came to Japan, I didn't think that I would be pooping quite so public. I'm not actually sure if I will be able to poop in here. Uh, most likely because I have a new fear unlocked, which is that uh, if this technology fails, at any moment, the whole of Japan will see my butt cheeks. I got stage fright. It's time to undo the magic. <laughs> oh, well now everyone, in including them, can see me pooping. So, <laughs> take it out of here. Totally unsuccessful. But there's a toilet coming up that I've only heard rumors about. A one million dollar toilet. At this point, I should probably tell you that I consumed 120 bowls of noodles last night. That is not a joke. Long story short, I lost an eating competition to a small Japanese lady. So my intestines are more backed up than MKBHD's hard drives. If there's one thing that I know, that in juices of poop. It's coffee, let's go get coffee. I don't know where to get coffee. Everything's in Japanese. So I think something may have got lost in translation. I asked for a cappuccino. I got a, a cappuccino. I got a cat. Guy just went ham on the latte art. I was filming it. It's really sweet. It's time to set my sweet cheeks on another toilet. Okay, this might look like a giant white ball. And, and that's because it is. This is actually a voice controlled toilet. I just hope I understand English. Okie dokie. Toilet extract. Uh, oh, I think there's someone in there. <laughs> oh God, I think there's someone in there. It's very awkward. I just walked in and asked the toilet to extract my poop. Hopefully they don't speak English. Oh. Okay, I realized that this one's also available. It says, hi toilet, hi toilet. Um, technology. This toilet is designed so that you don't have to touch anything. Everything is controlled by your voice. More pressure, less pressure. That sounds terrifying. Hi, toilet. Hi, toilet. Hi, toilet. Have I done something wrong? I think I figured it out. Okay, I had to scan my phone. Play music. Play music. <laughs> this is a different kind of bile movement that I was thinking of. Oh. Say it again, slowly and clearly. Hi toilet. Hi toilet. Hi toilet. The screen's gone off. I think I broke it. I'm uh. I'm gonna walk away. Um, <laughs> I just broke a really expensive toilet. <laughs> I just had a flight. <coughs> it was time to take things up a level. My next plan to help induce a poop was to head to get some traditional cuisine. At 7-Eleven. So I've assembled the ultimate poop inducing meal. We got coffee, obviously a laxative, and then we got a chicken bar which I'm least looking forward to, but it does look like a poop. So maybe it goes out the way it goes in. Um, that makes it sound like I'm gonna deep throat this. I'm not, uh, I'm gonna chew, I'm gonna bite it and chew it. <laughs> this is, I think, gross. On to the next toilet, I guess. And when I arrived at the next toilet, I bumped into a fellow toilet tourist. No, no, I'm okay, I'm okay. Thank you though. Richard. 
that's not his real name. But as you're about to see, I'm way too socially awkward to even ask someone their name. Uh, so he's Richard. This is the seventh of today. I'm going to uh, the red one uh, soon. Yeah, I was there earlier today. Yeah, you, you yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's good. <laughs> it exists. Toilet talk. Okay, so apparently I'm not the only one doing the toilet tour, which makes me feel so much better because every single one of these so far <laughs> is right beside a kid's park, as you can probably hear. I'm trying not to film the kids because uh, I don't want to be put on a list in Japan. Not that I'm on a list anywhere else. Uh, this next toilet is inspired by nature. Now, it might not look like much from the outside, but as my mom always said, it's what's on the inside that matters. And now that I think of it, I think she was calling me ugly. Hopefully one is available. This one is for women with large butts. Whoa. <laughs> oh, we got the theme going. Lots of wood. Is it just me or no matter where you go, you kind of lay like toilet paper around the edge of the seat. Just, you know, that thin layer of paper is enough to like, you know, ward off evil spirits and some kind of STDs. I... On my way to the next public dumping ground, I caught something out of the corner of my eye. Something I could not turn down. When you're videoing a video about poop and you see poop ice cream, you can't refuse. It comes in a toilet. Let's hope it isn't actual poop. That would be a disaster. It turns out Japan actually built a bunch of these toilets as part of the Tokyo Toilet Project, which is insane to me, considering that you'd be lucky to even have a toilet seat in a public toilet where I'm from. But what's even more insane is where I'm going next. In a really fancy hotel. I definitely shouldn't be inside this hotel. Thankfully, the people of Japan are way too nice to kick me out. This place is so fancy, it has an artificial beach. I pass through the murals, through the Indoor River, past the seven levels of the Kandakian Forest, and made it to the one million dollar toilet. Okay, I have to be really quiet because I'm in a one million dollar toilet. This sounds like a Mr. Beast video. I do not have enough money to stay in this hotel, but I'm here. Anyway, the entryway to this toilet had a bridge. That's how fancy we're talking here, people. A literal bridge. It's almost as if it's like a metaphor for me overcoming my fear of pooping in public. It was time to see what one million dollars gets you. It's just, just a normal toilet. Wish me luck. Uh, apparently they spent all of the money on the golden ceiling and the bridge. So yeah, if this video taught me anything, it's with enough time and enough effort, you can live your dreams. What I'm trying to say is that I pooped. <laughs>